every let's imagine that you are on your ICU floor and you have a sick patient, and uh, now the nurse comes to you saying that uh, your patient has dropped her urine output for the past four hours, and uh, this morning serum creatinine has gone up compared to yesterday, right? So I'm sure uh, this picture is uh, this situation is not new for many of us, and um, at that moment your questions the questions coming to your mind would be what's happening to my patient and what to do now, right? And with your experience, either you deal with the situation or you seek the help of your uh, senior on the floor and you'll go through the situation, okay? So we, we probably are dealing with acute kidney injury in that situation, right? And uh, of course, we'll discuss about the uh, definitions of uh, acute kidney injury and acute kidney disease and further. So to introduce acute kidney injury, uh, it's one of the more, uh, one of the comp common complications that you see in critical care units. And it's not just a single entity, it's a syndrome. You, uh, it has multiple facets. And uh, it is associated with important acute and long-term morbidity and mortality because it's one, of, one indication that uh, the kidney is not functioning well. And we all know the importance of failing organs requiring supports. And based on the current uh, diagnostic criteria, if you go only with the di uh, current diagnostic criteria, unless you're very uh, focused and closely monitoring or looking for that particular problem that is AKA, there is possibility that you may diagnose it late. And you may miss the opportunity to uh, make the patient better. And as we all know, sepsis is the predominant cause of AKI in ICU patients and optimization of hemodynamics and, and early antibiotic therapy, avoidance of nephrotoxic substances are most important preventive measures that when we deal with AKI. And also AKI is an important risk factor for chronic kidney disease or end stage renal disease. So rapid deterioration of the kidney function occurs within hours to days. And early diagnosis and identification of the underlying etiology is essential to guide the management. And the current diagnosis of AKI is based on two parameters, that is serum creatinine and reduction of urine output. And both these criteria are influenced by many other factors other than the function of the kidney. So you have to be very careful in labeling a patient uh, as AK. And serum creatinine is influenced by uh, many factors. It can be influenced by the production rate as well as the volume of distribution because we measure it as concentration in the blood. And also we know that there are multiple factors influencing the volume of urine produced uh, on hourly basis or daily basis. So drop in urine output was con uh, recognized as a sign of kidney failure as early as 200 years ago by an English physician by name William Haberdeen. So, so first, uh, this was probably the first uh, indication that urine is produced by the kidneys and drop in urine was attributed to um, a problem with the kidney. And then came serum creatinine as a marker of renal function. But nowadays, if you go out, if you just sit in a bus and uh, discuss with people, everyone is aware of serum creatinine uh, as an indicator of uh, renal function. But this was first um, published by Max von Potenkofer in 1844 as an indicator of the renal function or marker of the renal function. So till about uh, 2004, there was no standardized definition for uh, acute kidney injury. And that was the first time when rifle criteria were published. Uh, before that, we were attributing both urine output and uh, serum creatinine for kidney, uh, kidney failure. But the definition was not standardized and it was probably institution based or uh, national based. But now, with the thanks to this global uh, criteria for renal function, that is RIFL, AKIN, and uh, KIDIGO criteria, 
there is uniform worldwide definition for uh, uh, kidney failure and we can look into the data across the globe now so rifle criteria was published in 2004 which is r i f l e that is risk injury failure loss of function and end stage kidney disease and acute kidney injury network akin that was published in 2007 and the kidney disease improving global outcome kidigo criteria in 2012 these were the latest uh, guidelines uh, as far as definition of acute kidney injury is concerned.